Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. And on this day in history, in the year 1881, the American Red Cross was founded. Um, and the purpose of founding the American Red Cross was for humanitarian aid. Now, the root of the word humanitarian is human. And it sounds a lot like humanity, humanitarian. So humanitarian aid, aid means help. So it means help for people. So the American Red Cross would provide help for people during wars or um, people that were poor or sick. Um, something that the American Red Cross is very popular for today is they collect blood donations. Um, you can donate blood for someone that might need a blood transfusion or if they get in an accident and lose blood. Um, because everyone has a, there's a few different types of blood. They're called your, it's called your blood type. Um, and if you have the same blood type as someone, you can uh, give blood to them. So it, it's a very safe process. Um, it's sterile. It's a medical, it's kind of like a, a medical procedure. Um, basically, they take a needle, they take some of your blood, and they keep it in case someone else needs it. It's a very kind thing to do if you're able to do it. Not everyone is able to do it or feels comfortable doing it, and that's fine. But that's something that the American Red Cross does frequently now. But it was founded in 1881, and it is still an active, active foundation um, in our country. Our word part of the day is another Latin root, and it's actually two, um, but they mean the same thing. So it's either ven or vent, and that means come. So for example, um, adventure, something you come on, you come on an adventure, something that you go on. Intervene is when you come between two things. Um, an event is something that you, you go to or that you come to, um, you come to an event. So ven and vent me, both mean come, they're both Latin roots. So maybe you can think of other words that have one or both of these Latin roots in here. You'll notice you could say, oh, event has ven and vent. Yeah, but then if you look at intervene, it just has V-E-N. Um, so that's our root of the day. Moving forward. I have uh, my would you rather question for you today is, would you rather be able to breathe underwater or would you rather be able to walk on water? So would you rather be able to breathe underwater or would you rather be able to walk on water? You get to pick. Um, I think I would rather breathe underwater um, because I would want to see the things that are under there more um, and I enjoy swimming. Um, walking on water I think would be really cool, but I could get in a boat. I don't have ready access to scuba gear and it's a little harder to stay underwater for longer periods of time than it is to stay on top of water. Um, we have more watercrafts and such for that. So I personally would rather be able to breathe underwater, but which would you rather? Be able to breathe underwater or be able to walk on water? Answer the question and support your answer with, uh, support your claim with reasons and explanations. My wonder precept for you today. Today is May 21st. It is from Srishti. I paused because um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, and I may or may not have pronounced it correctly. Okay, so the wonder precept is, you're free to make your own choices, but you will never be free of the consequences of your choices. Let's read that one again. You're free to make your own choices, but you will never be free of the consequences of your choices. We talked about consequence yesterday because it has a Latin root, S-E-Q-U, which means um, follow. So the consequences are the what follows your actions. So you're free to make your own choices in life, but you can't ignore the consequences that come from your choices. That's a good one. I have two jokes of the day for you. The first joke of the day is, would February, March... No, but April, May. You get it? Would February, March? No, but April, May. It says the months. It's funny. Um, because March is the name of the month, and it also is a verb, and May is a name of a month, but also it's something that you might do. So it's funny. The other one is, 
What did the reporter ask at the ice cream shop? What did the reporter ask at the ice cream shop? The reporter said, what's the scoop? Funny. I need, I need one of those laugh tracks that plays after I tell a really funny joke. Um, my mindful challenge for you today is to do some of your schoolwork outside. Um, I don't know if you are able to bring the technology that you're using um, outside, but do some sort of your schoolwork outside. It's going to be beautiful out, and sometimes it's really nice to put yourself in a new environment. It helps clear your head. Um, it can get you more motivated because you're in a new space. Um, also, it's just nice to listen to all the sounds outside and be in the sunshine. Make sure you wear sunscreen if you are going to be in the sunshine. Um, but either read outside or draw outside or do some of your work outside. Um, just try to take your workspace and see if you can do some of it outside today. That's my challenge for you. We've done this, we've done this, we've done this, we've done that, we've done it all. And with a story cute. All right. We have a light bulb and an arrow pointing in whatever direction you want it to point in. So do a one sentence story tell where each person tells the next line of the story about one or both of these topics or items to start with. Um, or maybe you can research different types of uh, different types of energy or different ways to um, get electricity um, or power things or um, you could research the you could learn the cardinal directions north south east, east west um, you could maybe see figure out which way your house faces does your house face north south east or west or maybe it faces northwest northeast southwest or southeast you could figure that out um, you could also use that to figure out um, where you can see the sun rise and the sunset. So maybe get into that a little bit. Um, but until next time, it's Miss G. See you soon.